Tina's Reading Ranch. Join us weekly for reading adventures around the farm. And don't forget, go to our website and subscribe to our channel. See you soon. Hi friends and welcome to Gona's Reading Ranch. Today we are reading Ponyella and I have some friends here with me today. This is Clara and she loves horses and she's dressed up like Princess Penelope. And Princess Penelope just happens to be in this book. And she loves to brush her horse and ride her horse so I'm so glad she's here today. So let's go ahead and read Ponyella. Ponyella by Laura Numeroff and Nate Evans, pictures by Lynn Munsinger. Once upon a time, there was a beautiful horse named Ponyella. Her coat was white as marshmallow and her mane was long and silky. She lived on a small farm with green pastures and a lovely barn. Ponyella was very happy. One day she was having fun jumping when she noticed a sign on the front gate. For sale. Soon, Ponyella's owners were driving away and new people were moving in. They brought their two ponies, Plumpkin and Bun Bun. This place is hideous, said Plumpkin. I can't believe we have to live with her, Bun Bun said, glaring at Ponyella. My coat is so much prettier than hers, said Plumpkin. White is so boring. And my mane is much nicer than hers, snorted Bun Bun jealously. She looks like she's wearing a clown wig. Plumpkin and Bun Bun did not like Ponyella one bit. They made such a fuss that the new owner put Ponyella in a tiny, smelly stall that was way out in the back. She never got to jump anymore. When Ponyella wasn't pulling a coal-filled cart, she was tied up. Her coat became as gray as a rain cloud. Ponyella was miserable. Even Sam the barn mouse felt sorry for her. One day, a big shiny car drove by. There was a little girl with red hair and freckles in the back seat. That's Princess Penelope, said Bun Bun. I heard that she lives on a magnificent royal ranch. Oh, I wish I could live with her, said Plumpkin. I'd have a carrot cake every day. The princess looks so kind, thought Ponyella, pulling her heavy cart. Well, I heard Princess Penelope's going to pick the winner of the Timpington 25th Annual Grand Royal Pony Championship, said Bun Bun. It's the most important pony show of the year, and I'm sure I'll win. No, I will, said Plumpkin. When is the show? Ponyella asked excitedly. What does it matter? Bun Bun sneered. You're not going. You're dirty and ugly and smell like a pig, said Plumpkin. Oink, oink. On the day of the show, grooms readied Bun Bun and Plumpkin, then drove them away in a fancy horse trailer. Pony Ella began to cry. Suddenly, there was a puff of smoke and a spray of sparkles. Poof! An old mare wearing a cape appeared. Who are you? asked Ponyella. I'm your fairy godmare, said the horse. Why are you crying? I want to go to the Timpington 25th Annual Grand Royal Pony Championship, Ponyella said. Then you shall go, the fairy godmare said. Fetch me a big, juicy apple. All Ponyella could find was an old apple core. Close enough said the fairy godmare. She swished her tail and poof, there was a trailer. Now hmm, we need someone to drive the trailer, the fairy godmare said. I can do it, cried Sam. The fairy godmare wiggled her ears and poof, Sam turned into a driver. Cheese Louise, said Sam. Then the fairy godmare swished her tail again, and poof, 
Poniella looked absolutely beautiful. And most magically of all, Poniella had sparkling diamond horseshoes. As Poniella got into the trailer, her fairy godmare said, Now remember, you must be home by the stroke of noon. That's when everything returns to normal. And you'll look exactly as you did before. Poniella arrived at the show. When she walked past Bun Bun and Blumpkin, they didn't even recognize her. Isn't that fancy pony from Paris? whispered Bun Bun. You're right, said Plumpkin. It's Fifi La Frou Frou. Soon it was time for the championship event. Several ponies took their turn going over the jumps, but none of them could make it over the last one. It was too high. Then it was Bun Bun's turn. She missed almost every jump. When it was time for Plumpkin, she knocked all the jumps over. Finally, Poniella trotted into the ring. She got over the first jump just fine. The second and the third jumps were trickier, but she made them too. All she had to do was make it over that last jump. Poniella jumped up, 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 and over she went. The crowd cheered. Where did that amazing pony come from? Someone yelled. It was Princess Penelope. All of a sudden, the clock struck 12. Oh, no, cried Sam. Don't forget what the old horse said. Poniella galloped toward her trailer so fast she lost a shoe. Wait, called the princess, but Poniella couldn't wait. Pony Ella and Sam hurried home. Halfway there, poof, everything turned back to the way it was. Pony Ella ran home as fast as she could, Sam clinging desperately to her mane. Later that afternoon, Bun Bun and Plumpkin returned from the show. Did the princess pick a champion? Pony Ella asked. Not yet, said Plumpkin, but I'm sure it's me. No, I was the best, Bun Bun said. Put a muzzle on it, said Plumpkin. Go eat an apple with a worm in it, said Bun Bun. And the two fought all night about which of them would win. The next morning, Princess Penelope arrived at the ranch. I'm looking for the champion, said the princess. Whoever this diamond horseshoe fits is the winner. Plumpkin and Bun Bun rushed over to see if the horseshoe fit. Bun Bun tried wiggling her foot but it was too skinny. Plumpkin tried stomping her foot into the shoe, but her hoof was too pudgy. Oh no, said the princess sadly. I'm never going to find my champion pony. Poniella pulled frantically at her rope, but she couldn't get free. I'll help you, said Sam, and he chewed through the rope. Poniella ran toward the princess. Plumpkin and Bun Bun tried to trip her but Poniella jumped right over them. Holy haystacks, what a jump, cried the princess. Stop the car. She took the diamond horseshoe and tried it on Poniella. It fit perfectly. Plumpkin and Bun Bun fainted. Someone needs a bath, the princess said. Then she nuzzled Poniella's nose. I want you to be my pony, the princess whispered. I'm going to buy you no matter what it costs. The princess gave Poniella's owner a piggy bank filled with all the allowance she had saved. The princess took Poniella home and threw her fabulous bridal party. She breast Poniella every day and fed her carrot muffins. Poniella had the roomiest stall she'd ever seen. Boy, this is the life, said Sam. Poniella jumped all the time, and she lived happily ever after. As for Plumpkin and Bun Bun, they were sold to a new owner, but that's another story. The end. Did you enjoy that book? We enjoyed it so much, didn't we? Did you enjoy it, Theo? We hope you did as well, and don't forget to subscribe, and we'll see you next time. Bye-bye!